In today's video, we're going to be covering how to list all dynamic document properties used in a process using a GroupView script. So in here, you can see I have a simple process configured, just a no data start shape. Here I'm setting a dynamic document property of current date. And then I have a data process shape with a custom scripting step. In here, you'll find the actual script. If you need to get this, you can just copy and paste it from the article that should be linked below this video. Just take this directly, copy and paste it in here. And then you'll see I have this deployed to my Atom. So I can go ahead and run an execution. I will come in here and view the process logs. What you're looking for is this groovy scripting shape. We'll just save this to make it easier to view. All right, so we've got the groovy scripting shape. In here, you'll come down, you're looking for a property document dynamic, and you'll find here we have the current date and the value associated. Now you can simply do this to find out uh, the values in each dynamic document property referenced in a process, or you can make it easier to view if you plan on using this regularly. You can see here, I just have a simple message shape set up. And all it's doing, is just, I've got the value of current date. Let me come in here. And I just take in the copy and pasted value, current date, and place it in here. The, the property name. And so we'll test that to see it in action. Just view the shape source data. So there you go. That's the current date di dynamic document property and the value associated. And that concludes today's video. Thank you for watching.